Hi everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters. We're in California traveling and so um, been really busy, having a lot of fun, relaxing. I got Mosey here. Um, my mom's cat. So here's my view today. Nice big shady trees, beautiful campground. Um, the cool thing is, is that we sh got to California a few days ago and turned out that some of our friends that we met in Cal in Colorado that are full-timers were here at the same campground, just completely by accident. And so my, my kids are out playing with their kids and having a great time um, today. And my mom is off doing laundry. So since I have a few minutes in the camper by myself, which doesn't happen very often, I thought I would record a video. So let me show you a picture real quick of all of us. Get me out of the way. So here's all of us last, um, like two nights ago in the RV. So you can see there's 10 of us in the RV. These are our friends um, that we met up with here in California. <laughs> So let me show you first off my spreadsheet, which I did not pull up. So let me get that pulled up. Okay, so here's my spreadsheet for the month of April. The items that I'm going to show you, there, like I said, there are 34 items. Um, this is my average profit, which was $31. Uh, my total profit on this, these particular items, there's actually two pages here. So I couldn't get them all on one page. My total profit was 1060.58. My PayPal fees were 49.87. Um, these are Bonanza Poshmark fees, $55. eBay ad fees, because I'm doing promoted listings, is, oh, that's a little bit better, um, 39.78, the eBay ad fees. Um, eBay fees, just final value fees, were $117.93. I estimated my shipping and handling supplies based on my label cost, cost me approximately $36. Um, the labels that I actually purchased, this is my um, label cost, was $213. What I collected was $234. So after PayPal and eBay fees, they took out $28.30. I was left with $206. So my shipping labels cost me a little bit more than what I actually collected, plus my shipping, handling, my shipping and handling supplies. And the reason why this month is so low compared to most months I was kind of in the hole, like approximately $43, um, is because I didn't, I, you can see all these zeros here. I did a lot of free shipping in the month of April. I did eyeglasses. I had them on sale. I did a free shipping promo to see if that helped my sales. It didn't really help my sales a whole lot. So I tried the free shipping. I've done it in the past and I always find out that it's not really worth it. So I went back to charging shipping again, but that's why this, this number is, um, where it is this month. My total profit, like I said before, was 1060 That's after all the fees and everything. So um, this is the spreadsheet I use. It's just something that I built myself. It's nothing fancy, but if you're interested in using it, you can um, download it. And there's a video on my channel about this spreadsheet. So look that up and find that if you're interested. Uh, let's see, this first item here is a, this is a salt and pepper shaker set. And they, they have magnetic noses. You can see that, and they kind of stick together. Oh, go away. You can see that. Um, they were actually a Christmas gift for my mother, from my mother to me. But the reason why she bought them was so that I could sell them. So I sold them. Um, they sold for $20, so my profit was $19.73. This is a pair of IZOD eyeglasses. Um, these I paid $3 for at a thrift store. They, they sold for $35. And so my profit was $23.86. IZOD. All right. This is a Greek New Testament from 1930. And this I found at a thrift store for $1.50. Let's see if I can find the date. 
you know, 1930. I always, if I find um, Bibles that are Spanish or Greek or German or anything like that, I usually pick them up because they almost always sell if they're in good condition. Um, this one sold for $20 plus shipping. And so my profit was $28.70. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. My profit on this was $16.22. This one is a German Bible. And I'm not sure if I knew what year it was from. No, I didn't know. There was nothing that said. So this one I paid $3 for at a thrift store. It sold for $33 plus shipping. So my profit on this one was $28.70. And this was a German Bible. All right, moving on. This is a pair of LaFont prescription eyeglasses. I paid $2 for, th for these at a thrift store. Um, they sold for $22 plus ship, or no, free shipping on these. And my profit was $17.42. And this is a operation game. Now this is the original smoking doctor from 1965. And I'm going to do a video about this um, because I had an original 1965 one and an one that's made in the 1980s that they duplicated. It looks almost exactly like it. And I'll show you the differences in that video. But this one was the original. And um, if you see these, this is the smoking doctor that they call the smoking doctor. Um, it was only made for like a year and then they changed the graphic to a non smoking doctor version. But, um, so this one was made in 1965. Um, let's see if I can find better pictures of these. So the board looks pretty much the same. Everything else looks pretty much the same. It's a picture on the front, I guess, is what people are after, the smoking doctor. So this one did sell for $55. I paid $10 for it at a thrift store. So my profit was $35.91 on it. Let's see, this is a set of Malibu landscape lights. I've sold these several times. I always, I don't know why, but I always find these like brand new in the box at the thrift store. So but this is like the third or fourth set I've sold. Um, there were 20 of them. They were brand new, never used. Um, I paid $15 for the entire box, sold it for 70 plus shipping. And so my profit was $40 and 77 cents. All right. So this is a pair of Oakley prescription eyeglasses. These were what you call the spoke 0 0.5. I paid $3 for these at a thrift store. There you can see the Oakley symbol on the side there. And also, it's right there, the Oakley symbol on the nose bridge. And then there's the name of the, the model. So those are pretty neat. Um, I paid $3 for them at a thrift store. They sold for $55 free shipping. And so my profit was $41.68. And this is a pair of Laura Ashley eyeglasses. Laura Ashley always do really well for me. These I paid $2 for at a thrift store. They sold for $22 with free shipping. And so my profit was $10.69. Profits down because there was an ad fee on that of two dollars and eighty one cents plus, of course, free shipping. Now here's a pair of Kate Spade sunglasses. These were not prescription, just regular sunglasses. Um, I heard that Kate Spade died a few days ago. That's really sad. Let's see. So these I paid two dollars and sixty seven cents for at a thrift store. They sold for twenty dollars. So my profit on these was $11.07. And All right, this is a pair of Harley Davidson eyeglasses. I do like selling Harley Davidson brand eyeglasses. I've sold them several times. This one, this pair here, um, including the case, I paid $3 for. You can see I had a case, a Harley Davidson case as well. Oh, weird. Let's see that. Maybe. There we go. Oh, there we go. Um, and then I also sold 
I had a sale going that was buy one, get one half off. So these were priced at $47.95, but they sold with this pair. It was priced for $38.95. So this pair sold for $30.22, and this pair sold for $37.20. The way eBay does it when you run a sale is they just, instead of taking one half off, they just kind of take the they take the cut off of a little bit off of each one. I'm not sure exactly why they do it that way, but that's the way they do it. Um, unfortunately, this two pair of eyeglasses were purchased from somebody in India, and I shipped it to them, and there's no tracking in Indi India. Um, there's no delivery tracking. I mean, there was tracking all the way through, but there was nothing that said that they were actually delivered. So they claim they didn't, they didn't receive them. I don't know if they did or not, but... Um, because there was no tracking, I lost that profit completely. So this was zero profit. Actually, it ended up costing me the cost of the glasses plus the shipping, I think, was like $11, $12. I think it was about $12. So that was a loss. The funny thing is, is that after the case was finally closed, you know, we went through all the whole thing with eBay, and they closed it in the buyer's favor, and they charged me for them and all that. They tried to purchase more eyeglasses from me, so I denied the sale, or I canceled it, and I put that there was a problem with the buyer's address, and then they tried to buy even more eyeglasses from me, the same guy. And so um, I just messaged him and said, I don't ship to India anymore, I'm sorry. So I canceled the sale, and um, I'm not shipping to India anymore if they don't do tracking, because I... So those two pairs should have made a profit of $30 and $25. So this should have been a profit of $30. It should have been a profit of $25, but it was zero profit. Whatever. Okay, so Roy Tower eyeglasses. I do like selling these as well. This brand, Roy Tower. There it is, kind of rubbed off. Roy Tower. Um, yeah. So this pair of eyeglasses, I paid $3 for at a thrift store. They sold for $30 with free shipping, so my profit was $19.69. Okay, so here's something a little different. These are um, water optimizers, and I sold, I found one of these um, a year or so ago, and I sold it really quick. So um, I was at a thrift store at the Goodwill, actually, here, or in in, um, in Arizona, and I found two of them. So this one is a little bit more yellow than this one, as you can see. So this one I sold for $75. Um, so I paid six dollars for it, sold it for seventy-five plus shipping, so my profit was fifty-two thirty-one. And the other one, I paid six dollars for this one as well, and it sold for sixty dollars plus shipping, so my profit on this one was forty-five oh six. So these are definitely something to look for. This brand, um, Nikin, Nikin, Pie Mag water optimizers, and the way you can test them is you you fill them up with water, and turn them on, and they should make like a little tornado inside and that's just um I don't know it's some kind of magnet thing there should be like let's see um so there should be this piece and then there should also be go away should be this piece right here that's like the filter and then there should be this little magnet piece right here so those are all the pieces you should have of course the um the pitcher and the lid as well so those are the pieces you should have make sure they're all there and um yeah they sell really well um these are the the second and third, actually, I, they might even be the fourth that I've sold of these because I feel like I found another one that was a little bit different. But yeah, so be on the lookout for these. They're just water optimizers, softeners, I think, like a water softener. All right, so here's a pair of Randy Jackson eyeglasses. These always sell really well for me as well. Um, this pair, I, I, let's see, I sold them for $40 with free shipping. I paid $3 for them at the thrift store. So my profit was $28.48. Alright, so this is another Silhouette eyeglass case. Just the case, these magnetic flip cases. I talk about these all the time. They sell really well. I always sell them. Um, yeah, grab them if you see them. They sell. So this one I paid a dollar for at the thrift store. It sold for twenty dollars with free shipping. So oh no, I, I, they they paid the, no, they paid shipping on this one. So I only had the sale on the eyeglasses, not the cases. So this one sold for 
$20 plus shipping, so my profit was $16.71. Okay, so this was a lot of six brass drawer pulls. They were kind of large. You can see there, they were like eight and a half inches long, so they were pretty long, They're nice big ones. Um, these I paid $3 for six of them, so they were 50 cents each. And they sold for $21 plus shipping. So my profit ended up be, being $13.87 in those. All right, this is a set of headrests for a Ford F-150. I had the front ones as well, and I think they were on my last video. So these I paid $5 for the set of the two, and they sold for $45 plus shipping. So my profit was $32.19. And like it said in the last video that I talked about these is um, the way to find out what they belong to if you find some of these is just to open up these little, there's like Velcro usually down in here and pull out this little tag and look up these numbers. And that'll tell you what they belong to and then you can look them up and see if they're worth anything or not. Okay, this is kind of funny because I was watching an old um, scavenger life video. If you like. You guys like scavenger life I love listening to scavenger life and I was watching through some of her old stuff and she was talking about this Walmart cap didn't really think a whole lot of it but I think it was that same exact day later we went to the thrift store and we're looking around and my daughter walks up to me with this Walmart cap it's like brand new for a dollar it was it still had the cardboard in it it was, it was perfect condition and she's and she has this Walmart cap in her hands and I was like Hey, where'd you find that? So anyways, I bought it for a dollar and it sold for 23. So thanks to Scavenger Life for this one. Um, my profit was $20.19. Here's a pair of Prada eyeglasses. Um, these were also part of a sale. They sold with this pair of Kenneth Cole. So the Prada ones, the profit was, or the, they sold for $32.86. And the Kenneth Cole sold for $18.06. So my profit on the Prada were $18.48 because there was an ad fee of $4. And the Kenneth Cole were $13.43. So this is an a bottle of opium, opium perfume. And you can see it was approximately, I'd say, 75 to 80% full. What did I say? 85%, maybe a little less than that. But anyways, um, found it at a yard sale for a couple bucks. It sold for $35 plus shipping. So my profit on that was $29.39. All right, these were super cool. Um, I found these at a thrift store for $2 or $3, including the case. So um, $3 found these guys and they were just literally thrown in a pile of junk sunglasses in a bin. I'm just digging through and I pulled these out. They were in perfect condition. They were just gorgeous. These are from the 80s. Very rare. Um, it was a very, very popular frame back in the 80s apparently because I looked it up. Vintage Tura frames almost always sell really well for me. So these I sold for $190 with free shipping and I did ship them um, priority mail just to make sure that they got there okay and everything. And there was an ad fee for $24 on these. So I guess I had this as a promoted listing. So that took a big cut out of my profit, but still my profit was $131.15 on this pair of eyeglasses. So that's still good, can't complain. Okay, here's a pair of Ray-Ban prescription eyeglasses that I found at a thrift store for $3. They sold for $40. Um, my profit was $30.26 on those. And here's another pair of Tura eyeglasses. I paid $3 for these. Um, yeah, I paid $3 for these. They sold for $30. And my profit was $16.71. So Tura has really pretty eyeglasses. You can see that they're gold and silver with orange rhinestones. They always have really pretty detail to them. But there's the name, Tura see there. And my last eBay sale was this Kate Spade 
eyeglass case. So they always have the eyes inside of them like that. Um, this was a sunglass case actually. I paid a dollar for this. They sold for it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. So my profit was fifteen dollars and eighty five cents. All right, let's pull up. Let's do Poshmark. So um, I had six sales on Poshmark. This is the first one. It was a Briani silk necktie. I took an offer of $75 on this one. I bought it at a thrift store for $2. So after um, Poshmark's fee and everything, my, my profit was $58 on this one. Oh, look. Another pair of, of Tura vintage frames. <laughs> so these I paid $3 for at the thrift store and they sold for $40 plus shipping. Oh no, Poshmark, well yeah, Poshmark charges the buyer shipping, so, but I didn't. But my profit on these after everything was $28.78. You can see the Tura name right there. All right, here's another pair of Kate Spade eyeglasses. These I paid three dollars for at the thrift store, and they sold for forty dollars on Poshmark. So my profit was twenty nine dollars. These were really pretty. I liked this pair. It's in case made there in gold. Here's a pair of Belova eyeglass frames. Um, these I paid two dollars and fifty cents for, including the case. They had kind of a, a rainbow, I don't know, like flower pattern on the on the temples and a little square rhinestone. These sold for $40 on Poshmark, so my profit was $28. And here's another pair of Ray-Ban prescription eyeglasses. These I found at a thrift store. No, wait, this I bought on eBay. So I bought a lot of Ray-Ban eyeglasses on eBay, and so I ended up paying about $7 per frame out of that lot. So my cost was $7. That included the case and the little towel and everything. And my profit after everything, so I took an offer of $45 on those. So my profit was $29. And then here's a pair of Polo prescription eyeglasses. See the name Polo right there, kind of small, etched in there. And there, on the inside. So these I paid $2 for, they sold for $30 on Poshmark, so my profit was $22. And last but not least is a Bonanza sale. I think I talked about the warring commercial blenders in my last video, but this was the other one that I purchased. Um, I paid $16.50 for it. It sold for $99 on Bonanza plus shipping. So my profit um, ended up being $77.61. And these were just really heavy duty commercial blenders. Um, the name on them was Warring. You can see there, Warring Extreme. So anyways, I'm going to get this posted and get, um, and stop blabbing. And I'll get another one posted here pretty soon. All right. Well, thank you for watching and thank you for all your support and all your love. And I really appreciate everybody so much. So thank you. Take care.